Hi guys and welcome back to episode 7 of Darkest Dungeon. My name is Nimsh and I'm finally ready to face the Siren. I mean, I hope I'm ready. I feel that, um, well, I probably won't be ready more than this. So let's start a Siren run. I always wondered what became of the unfortunate little whiff. That's, uh, well... I, I, always, I also wonder what happened to her. So, about the Siren, I haven't thought her before. I've seen a bit of a fight with her. So, I know she's actually stealing the par party members. Kind of like, not like Wizenhag, because Wizenhag uh, puts them into the cauldron. Siren is actually taking them. And, um, well, they are fighting against us, right? Uh, but that's fine. Uh, this means that the, the team, that's the same team that I used versus Wizenhag, uh, hopefully will work. So, again... I have my Sonia, uh, who returned after two weeks of absence. She was somewhere, so I, I had one uh, short run that was absolutely super boring, so I, I didn't even record it. But now Sonia is back, and uh, she is all right. Uh, flawed release, minus three crit ranged skills, so it doesn't concern us much, unless this is ranged. No, it's melee. So we have those bleeds. I have the charms with the bleeds, as you can see as well. Then we have Cat Bane, our bounty hunter with the Dismas hat that we got the last run, and the Bleedstone that we had before as well. Mistress Challenger, OP, OP, and uh, Bleed Amulet, obviously. He's the, well, the most important bleeder here in this party. And Lucky Dice that I really enjoy for accuracy, for dodge, without any drawbacks, is just sweet. And uh, absolutely Anduin Rin, obviously, as well. Uh, with Junior's hat, uh, that's a pretty nice trinket right here and dazzling charm. I, this this is becoming one of my favorites for specific teams, and she obviously has a stun skill as well. All right, so this is our our team. The provisions are here. You can quickly look at them while I select our target. So the siren is somewhere in this dungeon. What will be the best way to go around it? I think if we go through the middle, like she will probably be either here, here, or here. So if I go through the middle, I have a chance for a nice scout, and hopefully she'll be in one of those two rooms. If not, we'll have a long way back. So unfortunately, no scout for now, and I'm I'm pretty anxious, guys, because, you know, it's a siren. I haven't thought it before, and I went almost all in on my provisions. Like, I have 300 gold, and that's it. That's what I have. This was a really good corridor. We are in a cove as well, so this is the cove map. Which is uh, kind of like, it's not underwater, but it's watery stuff, right? So we got our scouting, that's great. She's not here yet. There is a, a battle treasure, curio, battle trap, so, hmm. I guess I will ignore this fight for now. And maybe just uh, try to move and find the siren. I, I mean, that's the quest, right? Uh, it would be cool to get some, some good loot and stuff, but I think siren takes priority. And if I just bump into the Siren with a team that's really in pain and everything, that will not work. So now I can have a really nice bleed here into those two characters. And power. Oh yeah, that's a really good start to the whole dungeon. Slice and dice, dodging again. So it seems like it might work, guys, it might work. So this guy attacked already and Fusilier. I want to get rid of him, but I might stun him first. Well, not really. I, I will not be able to stun him, but judgment should be okay. To kill him as fast as possible. And now, what can I do? I, I do have my bleed and I do have my attack, which is an AoE attack. With the bleed, I will be able to... I might actually just attack. 9 to 8, scene. Bleed is 6 to 12 and a bleed effect. And she was giving 9 damage overall. Alright, I will try to bleed this guy. And is, is this guy dead? Well, he's not. But I feel bleed here would be a bit better. A damage was really good, bleed effect. Perfect. And now I can deal some damage to this guy. Or, or kill, um, kill this. So, focusing minions is always good. And I think in this case, because this guy is still not dead. Let's kill the free HP one. And that's a kill because he's going he's just going to die here. Rain of whips. Dodged. There is a bleed. How much is this bleed? It's just one. That's alright, that's okay. 
So now I need even more bleeds on this guy. He takes 5 damage each turn. This is 5-7. Five, 70% five, crit. Let's do it. Only 5 damage, but that's fine as well. An annoying Fossilier. Not annoying enough. Yeah, the dodging is helping us, a t uh, helping us a bit. So this is dead. This is taking 9. So if I just hit it for 4, it's good. I can go with this. Confidence surges as the Perfect. So the big guy is dead, and now I need to grab the last guy and bring him forward so that we can easily kill him. I think judgment should be enough. Is there a way to heal those poisons? The bloods, the, the bleeds, not really. Alright, that's fine though, that's fine. Uh, they are dead and we didn't lose much. Uh, loot is okay as well. You don't have enough room to... What? Already out of room? Is it merely a trick of the light? Ah, uh, well, it's not a trick of the light. I have my bandage. I don't know if I want to use it, but I guess I can. So let's select the Vestal. Let's get the portrait. Normally, I shouldn't be running out of the storage because I have... Well, this is a longer dungeon, so I took a lot of provisions just in case. But I will be using food and I will be using torches as well, so I will have room eventually, right? But for now, we didn't have the room. There is, uh, There are some hmm, corals or whatever on the ground. Bounty Hunter should be able to disarm it. There will be a curio. Uh, this is a curio that you probably do not want to touch. So I can cleanse it with <laughs> I can cleanse it with a shovel and get 100 uh, 100 stress. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to shovel it. It's a, a bus relief, and uh, you can just click on it, and then you have 66 percent positive quirk, 33 percent negative quirk. So as using my my rules, I will not use anything that can bring negative uh, effects if I don't have to. No scouting. No scouting. I don't like. Um, not having scouts at all. And there is a curio ahead. This is the Brackish Tide Pool. So, Brackish Tide Pool, I will <laughs> ignore it again. The thing with Brackish Tide Pool is act it's actually pretty good. You I can use Anti Venom to uh, heal myself and get the stress out. Actually, maybe I should get the stress out of this guy. Yeah, that wasn't smart. Can I click on it still? All right, I can still click on it. Like moving backwards is always bad because you're getting stressed. I do have anti venom, and I, I am healing this guy. Perfect. So healing some stress. Well, not enough. So maybe it wasn't worth it. I actually, got more stress on my uh, my jester here. Let's get the torch. Perfect timing. It was a combat. And I surprised them because I used the torch. So we are facing a uh, pelagic. Pelagic? Is it Pelagic? Drowned Thrall, right? Pelagic Grouper and Shaman. So we have Thrall and Shaman in one party! Harson confirmed! Harson, new expansion confer confirmed being underwater. Year of the Kraken, guys. Year of the Kraken. Okay. Let's just give them some bleed to start things off. Like, hello, gentlemen. I would like to see you bleed. Um, this with this uh, attack with the breakthrough, I can not do much, and she's actually uh, limiting her damage. So I'll just use a standard attack, maybe. Yeah, if I kill the thrall, it's great. Disadvantage. Yep. No quarter. The problem with thrall is that if it survives, it can uh, literally explode, and if it misses, that's fine. But it can hit and deal a lot of damage. Shaman's broken. down. That's Maintain perfect. Ah, I can just use my judgment. Four damage is not much, but it's still fine. Hello, Mr. Grouper. I want to know about groupers that have crazy speed. So, most of the time when I'm facing them, they start the, the action. They move first. I do have my slice. Uh, it will move him forward, which is fine. As the fiend falls, the fiend oh, what is this? Blossoms. Occultus only. That's really nice. Plus a dodge... Dodge minus one speed. It's a really good item. I dig it. I fully dig it. So changing the positions here. We're still gonna torch and let's get inside the, the room. Scouting! Thank you, Cut Bane. 
you are a charmer. And we found the siren, I hope. Yeah, I think this is the boss room. So this was the boss room last time I've been uh, fighting versus Guzen Hag. I accept this torch gladly. Let's burn the torch. And I can actually even uh, empty the space here. So there was... Uh, there was nothing here. Well, <laughs> there was the torch. That, that's it. That's absolutely fine with me. Um, no fighting. There is a fight in front of the... Um, of the boss. So I can decide if I want to rest before entering Siren's Den, because with the rest I will be able to buff myself. Hmm. I can also just fight, return, rest, and then go uh, attack the Siren. I think that's uh, that might be actually a bit better. So let's move. Uh, let's get the torch on. There's, there are no traps. There's hunger though. So I'm pretty happy about bringing the provisions. Stress wave. Okay, let's start bleeding those guys. I really like the AoE bleed. <laughs> Just mystery challengers, OP guys. I'm telling you, this guy I haven't uh, moved yet, so I'll try to get him down. No, I cannot reach. I can't reach this guy with a bleed, so maybe he'll take him two damage. Yeah, let's do it. That's better than expected. I don't need. I don't need bleeds for the pleb minions, apparently. This poor grouper. C ward slash. Doesn't hurt. Okay, and we have our amazing uh, knife. Hopefully, a kill. Great. You move forward again, uh, which I do accept. Uh, let's remedy momentum. the position quickly. Push on to the task's end. So I think this is uh, actually uh, a cool curio, and I can open it with the shovel. Let's see. Opened. Getting some good stuff. All right, and basically this is the siren door, so I'm I'm slowly getting back. Some of the guys are are getting stressed. You know, going back is always really stressful. Try it, try it in dungeon. They don't see even what's going uh, going to happen. They don't see what's behind. They're just just walking me and hope that there is no grouper uh, outside of that. Okay, so we basically um, seen most of the dungeon, and I do. There's a room battle with Curio, so maybe, maybe, actually, I can uh, have this one fight as well before I rest. And after this, I will rest, get the, everything under control, and if I defeat the Siren, if I lose versus the Siren, well, I will have to uh, retreat. But if I win versus the Siren, I will be able to see the rest of the dungeon. So let's move here as well. This is um, it's required an anti-venom, I believe, so we don't have it. There is no fight here in this corridor. And the room there is. So we need the torches. Let's get inside. Oh, nice. There's a seashell. And a lot of groupers. So groupers always love to bleed. Nice. Apply the bleed. Seaward slash. That's absolutely fine as well. Okay, uh, if I can get rid of one, I will. Applying more bleeding. Always good. And this guy should be red. Five, yep. That's good. And I think I have time to deal with them. So, uh, because this this guy, when he moves, uh, he was the, he's the only one who hasn't uh, moved. So he will die. I will use this time to heal my Hellion. Sonya is getting some heals. Grouper died. The groupers will probably attack first. This is how a life is taken. <laughs> Slowly, Jesse, this is how life is taken. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. Um, let's deal damage to a single target. He is in range. His bleed is a bit stronger. He used four. Nice dodge. So he is basically dead. And 
now we can continue doing the other one. I'll probably still have time to... Whoops. I was like, I'll probably still have time to heal my uh, bounty hunter, which I will do anyway. Oh, baby. That was one good heal. I should draw a card out of this with no sharp cleric. And that should um, deal with everything. Oh, wow, I can even attack still. Hmm. More attacks, why not? Try to get that critical hit. Maybe relieve some stress. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. And they are dead. Okay, let's open this with the shovel. I took so many shovels because of those things. Giant oyster. Nice. But, uh, well, gold actually sucked. So I will move back to the main room before the siren. Uh, rest, use it to, to talk about stuff, you know, prepare. I will not use this curio. And this is our room, guys. This is our room. The siren is in the next one. Let's open a firewood. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. It's always good to have a positive vibe before adventuring. I will use... Uh, so, never use zero. It gives you stress unless you are uh, forced to do it. Half doesn't do anything. Do I want to heal my dudes? 25, 27. Yeah, I think healing would be nice. So I can eat four food. Even if we get at attacked by hunger in the next corridor, we still have enough food. So let's use the full... They got some stuff, and we have uh, 12 respite. Or, or rather, it's 12 time units. Okay. So, what do we have? Pep talk that we've seen before. Chant. One companion. Alright, guys. So, with 12 units of time, what I'm going to do... I'm going to cast Sanctuary uh, on Self. Which means, if Religious prevent Nighttime Ambush. She is Religious. I don't want to fight anything at the moment. And all companions it has mortality debuffs, heal 50%. Uh, no debuffs. So that's absolutely fine. Let's do it. Let safety be upon us. Let us be viled in the holy light. Yada yada. And our bounty hunter actually has a lot of cool buffs. So here he gets um, a nice buff of 4. And this is how we do it! Okay, so he is fully buffed almost. Okay. So that's basically it. We have one, so we can't do much more. And this is the time to rest and see what our characters have to say after this dungeon. I'm blessed with good health for today at least. I've seen nothing I'm not prepared for. Perfect. They, they, they seem to be in good, in good mood. We are out of firewood. We must steal ourselves for a push to the end. And our vessel, perhaps we could forge some berries. No? Well, that's a. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. And a bit of luck with the criticals. But uh, I'm good with that. Let's go siren hunting. Let's not linger. I agree. Oh, guys. I'm, I'm really excited for a siren. What will happen? How will it work? I, I'm even willing to eat one torch. Just, uh, hmm, this is for cultists. All right, one torch, and the wish light. me luck. This the is a siren fight. Safety. Yes. The aquatic devils have remade the poor girl in their image. She is their queen and their slave. Alright, so we lost our bounty hunter in the very beginning of the battle, but uh, let's continue with the plan. She has 120, she has Song of Desire, so she's going to steal our stuff. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to survive and always not attack our targets. Well, not attack our dudes who go on the other side. Uh, the backstory of, the, the, of this is, by the way, there was a village that really hated uh, the original, the, our ancestor. But uh, I guess it doesn't matter, we still have to kill the Siren, whatever happens. She got the first bleed. Now, I guess our, I can stun our dude. Uh, this is dealing less damage. Um, Porch doesn't matter at the moment. But I think maybe just uh, killing the siren would be a bit better. Fortunately, she dodged. 
there is another silent, uh, another bleed chance, and this is the biggest bleed. Yep. Let's bleed it. Let's bleed it. Let's bleed Siren. Let's make her bleed. I wonder what is the color of her blood. I will live forever here with my love. We got marked for death, which doesn't do anything to us. Devour. Okay, so far so good. So far so good. I don't know what she's doing, but uh, I will just continue uh, stacking the bleed, guys. The bleed is always good, and um, I, I don't even know if... Because she has a couple of actions, I think she's taking bleed damage every action. Which is kind of good. Here to hit, 90%. Here to crit. Oh, yeah. Bleed, please. Yes. Yeah, I think like she's taking damage every time she makes a turn. So, this strategy seems to be beautiful versus bosses. Finish him! Oh man, my bounty hunter knows what's up! He missed on purpose! He's on our side, guys! He still remembers all the time we camp together! That's why That's why I did camp, to remind him that we are bros forever, right? Bleed, please! And we got our bounty hunter back. And this is what I, talk, what I was talking about. This is really a bad in our position. I mean, it's not terrible. She has 7 damage per round, 3 rounds, so that's uh, 21. We need more bleed on her, more bleed. This is the best bleed we have, and we got it. So it's 11 now, and this is another bleed we can stack. So now she's taking 14, 14 damage! Song of Desire, she looks beautiful, and now she doesn't. Positioning got wrecked, <laughs> so as we can see, our vessel cannot do much. She just has to uh, change the position. But, you know, Bounty Hunter has his own bleed as well, so using that strategy with the bleed, let's attach even more bleeding to her. She's at one! She's at one with high tide. Oh, she summons... She summons dudes! I guess I was, I was again, a bit too overpowered uh, for a poor Siren, so... Well, she's dead, so I guess there is no reason to attack her. I can attack the Guardian. And uh, we we don't have the skills I want because, you know, the first position is bad. So, yeah, let's kill the Guardian. Hopefully our Hellion will not wreck the team. Poor Hellion. Hellion is losing her love. The love of her life. Um, yeah, let's... So, she is dead when she makes a move. Let's try killing this guy. Miss. Well, that's all. Seafaring trade, the lifeblood of any port. And resume again now that the roots are safe. The roots are safe. My Hellion is safe. Can everybody be safe? 11 damage. I think it's possible. So, Siren is dead. We killed the Siren, guys. It wasn't hard. The steam is OP. Bleed is OP. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Forget what I said. It was not OP. It was really hard, and I'm, I I will try again. <laughs> no overconfidence here. Even if it sounded like overconfidence. I are you guys good? I think I'm good. Like I can continue this dungeon. Let's just continue adventuring. So we still have a good part of the dungeon. I have only four torches. But we can, I guess, make it, right? We just need to get to it another part. So there was nothing in that specific room. <laughs> Our position is absolutely wrecked. Uh, let's change positions. Uh, she goes to the front, and those guys have to change as well. Perfect! Siren is dead! So this means now I will be trying to hunt the Necromancer. Apprentice Necromancer. The bad part is... Those guys will probably go over level. And um, Necromancer, I will need to have a team with uh, level 2. Hunger. Hunger is fine. Still have the provisions. I took this already. So for Necromancer, I, I guess I would try to do the same thing with the bleeds. But uh, Necromancer might be different. So Wizard Hag and Siren, a huge creature, easy to bleed. 
two actions every turn, which means it takes double the bleed damage if you can stack it. Uh, on the other hand, Necromancer can do some other stuff. I don't know. I, I I would imagine Necromancer would be a summoner, like summoning a lot of skeletals, skeletons. So maybe AOE damage would be the most important one. But then if I can apply bleeds, uh, bleed in any position, I'm good, right? Like He's just gonna die unless he can cleanse it because he's a Necromancer. Or maybe, actually, oh my god, Necromancer can be an undead. So <laughs> I might... And this means he might not, uh, he might be Radiance resistant to bleed, victory. so I'll have to check that out. Alright, I'll check Necromancer before going there, because if I go with the bleed team to find a re bleed resistant monster like an idiot, that would be quite embarrassing. Okay, we actually reached the, the part of the dungeon where I haven't been yet, uh, just to collect the rest of the goods. That's 1000, um, and that's 7, 750. Uh, what is this? Worry stone. Shift click on this item to discard it. No, I don't want to discard it. Shows down speed. It's not good though, but I can sell it for uh, a lot of, I think, a lot of monies. Let's ign ignore holy water. Um, yeah, let's just ignore holy water. Sorry, I'm so sorry, holy water, but you're useless in this part of the, of the dungeon. We're good on the on the torch. We even got a. A new one. I still have. I still have food for. Do I have food. Oh my god! We don't have food, guys. We need to find food. And I forgot to click the torch. If there's a fight, we got the wreck. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Finally, scouting. Oh wow! There's a hidden room. Yay! Finally, guys, we can see the hidden room. First time ever. And suddenly there is a trap. What? Oh, because the hidden room showed up. How did I not? Uh, affect the trap disarm. Oh, that's pretty good actually. I haven't, I haven't noticed that before. But now I can see who can disarm the trap. So it's it's pretty cool. Let's disarm the trap. Let's get the torch out. And there should be a hidden room here, right? Is this a hidden room? Nice. So I entered a hidden room for the first time. Secret hidden room. And there is this. I have the I have the key. So, Ancient Artifact. Let's get this. Whoa. That's a lot of gold, guys. That's 2,500 of the puzzling trap a weird stone that I'm never going to pronounce correctly. And there's Baristan's head. Sir Baristan is dead! Game of Thrones confirmed as well. It's, it's pretty good. It has no drawbacks. Great prod and 20% stress damage. I love it. And now I have to probably disease charm. Uh, I'm so sorry, disease charm, but you're not the one I want. I cannot take it, right? No? Okay. They don't stack. So, um, we need to get rid of something else as well. Occultist only. Do I really want it? Dodge. A dodge. A dodge is not bad. I have my one occultist, Alibaba. This is 1000. But I need gold more, I feel. But this is this is even rare. It's, it's common, so it's like 750, and this is 750. So I think Jade makes uh, a way out of it, unless we have space somewhere. Nope, everybody's full. So oh, all right, J <laughs> again, Jade is just uh, being left, uh, not jaded here for sure. Okay, secret room accomplished. We can move forward. Hunger! Oh man, no! It takes 20% damage plus stress damage. Eat nothing. That hurt. And it's actually really unfortunate because normally in the cove I'm full of food. And I, I took my medical herbs specifically for that, for that reason. If this is a fish... Like, there, there is a lot of dead fish on the ground that you can just, well, kind of cleanse with medical herbs. But apparently, uh, Siren ate everything. That's why she was so fat. Oh, Siren. There is a fight, so we are still not out of the woods. Uh, the problem is my vessel is actually quite low after the fight. So, and this is n a nice team. This is a pretty good team, actually. Uh, a lot of dangerous monsters here. So, I think the, the guys in the back 
are the most dangerous one, the ones. So I'll apply my bleeds and try to kill the backline as fast as possible. And with this, I can apply even more bleeding effects. I can also buff my team. Speed accuracy crit. Now I'll apply the bleeds. With the bleeds, this guy is ripped. Yep. The slow death. Slow death is the best death. I can kill. Ah, uh, kill myself. Heal myself. Heal my Vestal. I'm. I'm too excited after killing Siren. I'm so happy about that. If. Uh, if I don't make it through. I'll be a failed run though. I can always try to retreat from combat if, if it goes bad. But I think uh, we are in a more or less good position. With 9 damage here and bleed for 2. We should be dead. But I can also apply bleed here. And it's 2 free damage. So I think bleed here would be a bit better. We even got a crit. Nice. Um, and I think that's because I will be able to use my Hellion. To do AoE damage. And this is also a tank kind of. So he's guarding... Oh man, this team is fighting back really hard, uh, but they are in position for my uh, sexy bleed. The bleed team, I love it! I love this team composition, it's so cool. Um, let's apply more bleeding. This is actually, what, he resisted? This guy is ripped. Uh, this guy is uh, far from being dead, so I guess I will apply... This is more damage. Okay, I still have time, so I will, I will apply the bleed. Like, if the guy would be dying next turn or something, I would go for a damage attack, which is uh, dealing more damage. I guess Vestal can just continue healing the team. Ah, it's plus 8, which is a really good, uh, a really good heal. 5 damage, resisted, sure. Why is it not dead? Oh, it will, it, it will be dead when it moves. And more bleed, free damage bleed, more bleed, let's bleed. Oh, I can't attack with the bleed. So just a standard call it bounty. Great is the weapon Shaman is out, which is really own. good. And now I can apply even more bleed. Free damage. Let's apply uh some damage with the biggest attack. Unless Nah, this is better. Crit! Yes! I just love Jester. And Jester is such a, ve a versatile character. Seven, so he's not dead yet, unfortunately. He will be dead. He will be dead if I attack into him. Not in this way. <laughs> I kind of feel like I wasted my bleeds. <laughs> Ran for the old gods. That's absolutely fine. Some bleeding. And Vestal can heal again. That's 12 damage heal. 12 health heal. Pretty good. Oh man, talking about pretty good, that crit, 26. Okay, let's collect all the As good stuff. Mount, so too I just love the loot, guys. I just love the loot. And uh, w this is uh, like 750. This is 1000. So, shovel, hopefully not needed. Oh, there's scouting as well. Oh, that's great, actually. I will know if there's an obstacle or not. We are here. There's a trap, battle, curio. There's nothing. There's a battle, there's trap, and curio. So this means we'll not need the shovel anymore. I can get rid of the shovel. So I got this. And um, now the gold. I'll probably get a bit more gold uh, during the, 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 the rest of the dungeon. So I guess I can drop the, the worry stone and not worry about it. <laughs> It's not that great. I don't like getting more stress damage. And Virtue Chance... Oh, wait. This is this is really bad overall. It can be 1,250 if I sell it in the store, but it's just bad. And this... Am I even am I even going to use it? Th those decisions, right? All right. Let's get rid of the Warrior Stone and take the gold. I feel like gold has potential to be up to 1,500. Uh, unlock strong box. So I don't have the key, so I'll just take what it is. Alright, and already getting the gold. Uh, we scouted everything, so we are in a good shape. Is there anything else I can do? Not really. So I can continue. Continue on this quest. There is a trap that we see. 
disarmed, perfect. And now there will be a fight, so let's get the torch up. This is still pretty dangerous, by the way. I'm um, I'm venturing forth, but I can also just uh, get back. I have a lot of good stuff in my inventory at the moment, and I don't want to lose any of those characters. I feel like those are one of my best characters. Not the best team, the best team was in the previous episode, but this team, well, it, it works wonders. And I think they, if they advance, we'll be in a great shape to, to get another boss on, on another level. So this is uh, almost dead. Grouper is uh, almost dead, but I really need to kill this. I need to kill the drowned thrall before he explodes. Perfect. Thrall's dead. Let's kill this guy as well. Thank you. Bounty Hunter knows how to hit. And uh, I feel killing this will be more important than healing the party at the moment. We only have one more fight. I don't want to see any more stunts. Taking gold. These nightmarish creatures well, I guess I can ignore 25 can gold. <laughs> I like gold. Everybody likes gold but it, in this uh, situation. And uh, this is uh, obviously something where I need a shovel that I... Um, well... I actually throw it away. So if I open it, it's absolutely fine. Because there is a small chance I will bleed. But um, there's a good chance there were nothing. There, I, I just uh, get the loot and we got the skeleton key. But there is no way I'm going to take it. Hellstone is. Uh, I don't need it. I have a couple and skeleton key. There is basically no room for it. Or I can throw away the torch and get the key if I get greedy. And I think I I am a greedy guy. So sorry, so sorry for no light. We got the key, guys. We got the key. And now was there a fight in this room? Not really. Uh, there is a fight though. In the other one in the corridor so hopefully this will not be the collector <laughs> if this is the collector collector I'm running away okay it's not it's just a couple of uh, of fi fish fish plebs the groupers so standard strategy apply bleed to the wound apply more bleed uh, not really I'll actually attack it Focus as much as possible to get rid of them before they attack. And this will be killing the grouper. So there is only the shaman. Uh, he's taking. He's uh, attacking once, which is fine. I'm taking some stress, but I'm uh, stress healing them anyway after I come back. They will all get into the church and get smacked. That's a dodge, so it's even better. And now he's so dead. I'm just randomly targeting him at the moment. Oh, wait. Cannot do that. Come over here, grouper. You grouper, you. 100 gold. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Well, there is nothing to, to kill me uh, in this dungeon anymore, so I hope there is no dizzying fall. There is even a trap I can see in plain sight. Disarmed. Nice. And there is no fighter, it's just a curio, some more loot. Maybe we can get something sweet. <laughs> Even more gold I'm ignoring. Uh, was, is there a curio in the last room? Not really, no curio. So let's get the gold instead of the key. Because key is going to disappear anyway. If that's, if that's chest, okay, there is no chest. Alright guys, so that will be the Siren Dungeon. I did complete it, there was a nice secret door to a secret room. And the Siren fight worked. Well, and uh, we are getting an amazing focus ring. Focus ring for our uh, leper. Uh, one of two, Gromash or um, uh, the second one was Gromash and Garage. Okay, so basically one of them is getting it. We got a lot of gold, a lot of good stuff, and uh, a lot of heirlooms. So let's see how the team works at the moment. They are getting. So we lost Sonya. Uh, I will not be able to take Sonya for Necromancer, but Catbane made it. He will be able to fight the Necromancer, same as Anduin Rin. Mistress Changer will have to be replaced by Doctor Six, which is a Jester, which is a second one. Fated chance to turn any miss into a hit. That's uh, a really nice quirk. <laughs> she got a disease. <laughs> oh man, the Vestals are so prone to diseases. I just cannot comment on it at all. And he got uh, Deviant. Tastes. 
is not allowed to visit the brothel. Well, he is basically... That's fine. Robust. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's absolutely fine. Um, I guess with Robust, he could probably visit the brothel, but now uh, he's even more into some awkward stuff. So that would be it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. That was a, a great run with a lot of good loot, with a lot of fun. Siren, this is the tactic. Just use this team, check what, the, uh, what stats do I have and what I've upgraded. Thank you so much for watching so far. Subscribe to the channel and wait for more, more episodes because Darkest Dungeon is going great. See you guys tomorrow.